it's time for the Super Mario Sunshine review for the GameCube. Super Mario Sunshine was the first real Mario game for the GameCube, just like Super Mario Galaxy was for the Wii. The story is about Mario, of course, how he, Princess Peach, Toadsworth, and a bunch of Toad lackeys all fly to Isle Delfino for a relaxing vacation, but they receive the exact opposite. As soon as they arrive, they find this weird paint-like substance that has been covering parts of the island, and Mario has been accused as the perpetrator. As punishment, Mario has to clean the entire island with the help of his new mechanized friend, Flood. Flood is basically a talking hydro pump that Mario straps onto his back and uses him to spray away the goop with water. Because the island has been gooped, the shine sprites that reside in the middle of the town have vanished, and so the island has darkened. So that's the story. Now get to cleaning! If you've ever played Super Mario Galaxy, Sunshine is very similar, except without the wacky gravity changes and you're on an island instead of space, but the concept is pretty much the same. Go through each level trying to figure out where the Shine Sprite is and how to obtain it. Most of the levels are non-linear, except for a few that have an obstacle course principle to them that are very fun to play. It's usually pretty easy to figure out where the Shine Sprite is, but retrieving it can be quite challenging. Along with just a regular squirt nozzle, Flood can also obtain three different nozzles, such as a hover nozzle, where Mario can hover in the air for a short time, a rocket nozzle, nozzle, which will blast Mario high up into the air, and a turbo nozzle, which will allow Mario to sprint really fast on land and in the water. The graphics are fantastic. Just like almost every other Mario game, everything is beautiful and detailed. The controls are virtually perfect. Move with the analog stick, press A to jump, and B to dive. Hold down the R button all the way to stay still while shooting water, or hold it down halfway to shoot water while moving. The music is amazing. Every song has that Mario quirkiness to it that you just can't help but love. There are 120 shine sprites in this game, just like Super Mario Galaxy and it will take you a long time to achieve them all. Every time you gain 10 or so Shine Sprites, a new area of the island will open up to you. Each new area has 8 different levels, and each one will take you around 5 to 20 minutes to complete, depending on the level. The boss fights were all very fun, and most of them were challenging. The first few bosses are more of a test your skills type of fight, but none of them are a pushover. Along with each level gaining you a Shine Sprite, there are also blue coins scattered throughout the island, which you can exchange for a Shine Sprite when you obtain 10 of them. In this game, you can ride Yoshi. While riding Yoshi, you can now jump up super high, and be able to use Yoshi to squirt juice instead of water. Yeah, I'm sure the locals really love to get hit by regurgitated juice from Yoshi. Yoshi can become different colors depending on which foods he eats. It doesn't have a purpose, but it's variety. You can go almost anywhere with Yoshi, except when he touches water, I don't know why, but he will dissolve. Yeah, tell me if you figured that one out. Super Mario Sunshine is an amazing game. Is it possible for Mario to be in a bad game? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> But anyway, Sunshine has awesome graphics, great gameplay, great controls, great story, beautiful music, and that Mario charm that we all know and love is everywhere. The only downsides that I found was that 1, the depth perception would be low sometimes, mostly when you're high up from the ground via the rocket nozzle. And 2, it became a little frustrating when you would squirt water while standing still, because Mario moved too slow when rotating from left to right and or turning around. But overall, this is one of the best Mario games out there, and it's at the top of my list tied with Super Mario Galaxy. This is a must-have for anyone who owns a GameCube or Wii. This game gets a 4.5 out of 5 with the title of Epic.